Well, it's about time we had some news on this one, huh? It's been so long since I talked about TDU3, aka Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. For those who don't know, I'm a massive Test Drive Unlimited fan. The first game is one of the most formative games of my childhood, literally on par with Gran Turismo 4 at the time, and then Forza 2 a little bit later. Those were like my top three at that time. But then it was pushed back. We didn't hear quite as much news. The news that we were getting from Nacon was kind of just general stuff, nothing too impressive, even the trailers looked okay, nothing too special there most of the time, and I kind of stopped talking about it for the most part because it was just repeating the same stuff. Now though we finally have an official release date, I believe kind of a new trailer as well, or at least a riff on a trailer, so I'll probably show some of that footage here in the video, and it's the 12th of September of this year. Now of course, things can change between now and then, so it could be pushed back, but that's a relatively close date. That's if you think about it, only a few months away really, so I don't think they're going to be changing that at this point. It looks to me like they're going more down the route of the second game. Of course, the first TDU is the one which I have the most love for. A lot of people do seem to prefer the second one. It's not that I don't like the second one. I, I still cover TDU 1 and 2 here on the channel in the members section, pretty regularly in fact. And of course, there are tons of videos not in the members section as well from back in the day as well in both of the TDU games. So I'm absolutely going to be a day one player possibly even a before day one player, we'll have to see, I'm in talks about that currently, but I am curious to see how it falls in the TDU lineage. It could easily go wrong, as some games are, or it could easily go very right. It seems to me like it is going more down the TDU2 route, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it looks slightly less cartoonish in terms of the colours and the, the graphics than the second game did, which was one of the things that kind of put me off a bit, given how amazing the first game looked for its time. The second one didn't quite live up to that for me. This one, I'm also liking the mix of vehicles that they've got going, it looks like you've got changeable weather as well, which is cool, and of course with a mix of, for example, the slightly older GT500 Mustang, they're clearly not just going for the latest and most obvious stuff, and that is very good to see. For someone like me, who does miss the 2000s era and many of the vehicles that were featured therein, it's nice to see that blend of not just going for the most obvious cars. And even though games like Gran Turismo and Forza have always done a good job of balancing both, smaller games, uh, games which tend to be, I don't know, more in the arcade sphere maybe, they seem to fall into the trappings of going for like whatever the current Lamborghini is, whatever the latest Aston Martin is, and there's some of that in here, but there is, like I said, a mix of older stuff as well. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. For some people, I could see it maybe being pushed back so far that your excitement level might have dwindled a bit, but for me, I think because I put it on the back burner in my mind, I'm kind of just ready to kick it down a gear and get back into being hyped for the game again. I am planning to feature it on the channel. Of course, that'll depend on how good the game is, how much content there is to talk about, but if it's anything like the first and second, there should be quite a bit to talk about, so here's hoping on that one. And of course, I will see you then with any more news as it drops, and otherwise in September, I guess. But stick around, of course, for the regular Gran Turismo content and plenty more, including TDU, Project Gotham, etc., in the members section, and of course, for main videos here on the channel, regardless. But for now, thanks for watching.